You do recognize this, don't you? Why should I? <laughs> I mean, you come in here making these Well, then let me refresh your oh-so-convenient memory. This is a videotape from a security camera at the hospital. Ring a bell? How on earth would you get access to something like that? I couldn't. Not easily. Lucky for me, this was in your safe. Well, how would you get into my safe? You really have to do something about these memory lapses of yours, Rosanna. Because I installed that safe. Remember? Now, let's see. Where were we? Oh, yes. Oh, and look at you. Here you are in your hospital garb. You are a remarkable woman, Rosanna. You bounce back from the brink of death, and what's the very first thing you do is change the paternity test results. And just like that, I am the father of Paul Ryan's son. <laughs> your baby just moved for the first time? Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Thank God. You know, when, when the doctor first said that there was a chance for a genetic defect, I thought... What? You thought what? You're gonna think I'm superstitious and foolish. But I thought that the baby was being punished because I slept with you. I don't think the universe would punish you for that. Your husband, however, that's a different story. All right, it's true. I changed the test results. Oh, come on, let's not waste time admitting what we already both know. I want to know why. Why? <laughs> well, isn't it obvious? No, 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 no. Paul did not have anything to do with this, okay? It was me. It was just me. Paul thinks that the baby is yours because that's what I wanted him to think. I needed him to think that so that he wouldn't go to Meg. All right? It was me. It was just me. Oh. You afraid of me, Rosanna? You should be. What are you gonna do? What I always do. I'm gonna get what I want. Well, what you want, what you want is Meg. Yes. And a family. You want a family. Yes. So we should keep this our secret. Paul Ryan slept with my wife. My wife! Now, do you think that I have forgotten that? Do you think I've forgiven it? All right. So you want revenge? Well, what revenge could be better than this? Raise Paul's son as your own. You think you know Craig, but you don't know how he is with me. He loves me. Well, sometimes that's just not enough, Meg. You doubted me, and you left. Craig had every reason to doubt me, but he didn't leave. He stayed, and we made this baby. And if this baby is healthy, I will be forever grateful. And I will love Craig, and we will have a family. You make it sound like penance. Sometimes love happens to you, and sometimes you make love happen. I mean, you can't kill Paul. How would that get you what you want? I mean, even if you you staged some sort of accident, Meg would know that it was you. I am not concerned with Paul. Yet. You did this, Rosanna. And when I tell Paul that, do you think he's gonna stay with you? Okay. What do you want? I'll give you anything you want. I held my wife in my arms and I listened to our baby's heartbeat and I knew that baby belonged to Meg and me. I want that. 
Can you give me that, Rosanna? Yes. Oh, really? You can do that? You can miraculously make the child that Meg is carrying mine? Have you... have you noticed how Meg is looking at you lately? Have you been paying attention to your wife? Because I think that she is beginning to love you, Craig. How do you know that? Because I was at where you are now, with Paul, before. It was like Meg was constantly in the room with us. I was just waiting for him to leave me for her. Until he found out that, that baby is yours. This baby is not mine. No, but, but until he found out about the baby, okay? And then he was with me. He was just with me the way Meg is just with you. But the baby... But the baby is the first... It, it, it's the beginning of your family together. Meg wants more children, and you will have them. You will hear your baby in her. You will hear the baby's heartbeat together. And better than that, you will be holding a woman who is going to love you for the rest of your life. Isn't he gorgeous? Hmm. Good to think he made his first appearance in a stuffed, cramped elevator. Oh, I was so frightened. But you and your husband, you are the reason I have a healthy, happy little boy. No, you two did all the work. We were just cheerleaders. No, you were more than that. Allow me to reintroduce you to my son, Craig. I'll find a way to tell Paul the truth and, and to keep Meg with me. Are you really willing to take that risk? Because Paul will take that child and use it as leverage to take Meg away from you. You know as well as I do, Paul can never know the truth. What the hell are you doing here? 